And now the third section here is our formatting section. So here we're going to be going through some different formatting techniques. So here on the left, we have our raw data. We have again, our customer names. We'll zoom in here a little for the team. We got the customer names, the invoice numbers, city and activity type, and then we have units and order dates. And now let's say we want to take this raw data and we want to put it inside of our order report over here. You may be like, oh, cat, that's pretty easy. Zoom out and check this out these different column headings match up, right? We got name, invoice, units, and order date. And then over here, we have name, invoice, units, order date. We don't need these two yellow columns here in between. So what we can do here first is hide these columns that we don't need. So the shortcut here for hiding them is I'm going to first highlight both of them by holding down my shift key in between and then doing control zero key on my keyboard, which is that little closing parenthesis. I kind of always remember as kind of like a door closing. And now I'm gonna quickly show you a common mistake that so many people make. You might look at this and be like, all right, all right, cat. We got the name, invoice, units, order date. That matches right here. We got the name, invoice, units, order date. We could copy paste this thing. And you come over and we highlight the data, control C to copy it. And then we're gonna come up here and do control V to paste. And as you can see here, it took those hidden yellow columns and pasted them into our data anyways. So I'm gonna do control Z here and show you a little trick. So if you ever want to take certain parts of data, and you want to copy them and move them somewhere else, but you don't want everything to go. You wanna hide some columns, you wanna hide some rows. Maybe it's to a particular stakeholder who only cares about you know, certain filters on, and you want to copy and paste just that part without the whole data set in between. This is a trick to remember. So first I'm going to go in and hide everything like I did before. So I hit here our columns D and E that we don't need. And now if we highlight the data, Instead of just doing control C here to copy that thing, we can click on the home ribbon and all the way on the right, we got this find and select little magnifying glass button where we can hit this go to special option or the shortcut for this on your keyboard is control G. And now when we click on this, it will bring up the go to special menu. And here on this menu, we have all different options. And the one that we want to use here is visible cells only, or the shortcut for it is the letter Y on your keyboard. And now pro tip that a lot of people don't realize is if you look really closely at the go to special menu or any of the menus for that matter, as you can see, there is one letter underlined in each of these options. And that my friend, is the shortcut key for those different options. So if you're like, how does Kat just remember that's the letter Y? Kat looks at the screen and sees the letter Y here is underlined for visible cells only. So that's a great way to kind of get in the habit of using those shortcut keys. Even if you don't remember it off the top of your head, you don't wanna have to go like look it up or something. You could just take a look real close at the menu and you will see that visible cells only, that Y is underlined and you could click enter or okay. And now that just went and selected out of the area we already had highlighted, the visible cells only, AKA everything that is not hidden. So now if without clicking anywhere else, my dad, we do control C, because fun fact, if you click somewhere else, you're gonna unselect what we just went in and selected with that visible cells only feature. And now we can really see here, there are two different parts that are highlighted. We got those little green dance and ants around the edges, right? And you can see in the middle here, there's kind of two different lines going up against each other, signaling to us, there may be something in between there. We got those two separate parts, which to us, we're like, yes, that means we did it right. And now we do control C like we did before. And then here we just go where we want to paste it and do control V on our keyboard to paste and that will go in and paste those visible cells only. Now, 